real quick, we talked. What's going on, happy people? All right, so I got a story for you real quick that I hope makes you think, but also makes you smile just, just a little bit. All right, so this story actually doesn't come from something that I read or saw somewhere. It actually is inspired by, by my own father. And so he and I were sitting down at dinner the other night, just kind of catching up, talking about what's going on in our lives. And he mentioned to me that he saw this documentary about the, the most dangerous jobs in the world, on the planet. And immediately when he said that, before he even said anything else, my mind started wandering about what are the most dangerous jobs in the world? What are those most the high risk jobs that just kind of give you like a pit in your stomach? You know, I start thinking about those people that go up on those very high electric powered uh, windmills to, you know, to change the screws at the top, you know, thousands of feet in the air. I think about, you know, those Discovery Channel shows, ice road truckers and people who go catch lobsters where, this, where the waves are coming up in the middle of the ocean, that's tall as skyscrapers and people who like wrangle grizzly bears and crocodiles because it's fun. Like those kind of jobs, it gives you a stomach ache because they're so nerve wracking. There's such a high, high risk factor to those. And it's almost like he read my mind because he said to me, it's, it's not what you think. It's not those jobs that you think have those high risk factors. It's actually the most dangerous jobs in the world, the ones with the highest mortality rate, all right, are the ones where you're sitting the most, the most with the, with the highest immobility factor, where you're, where you're moving as little as possible throughout your day. And why is that? All right, because immobility breeds immobility. It becomes a vicious cycle. Because when you sit all day, you want to sit later. You, you lose the motivation, the drive to, to push yourself. It's... It, it impacts your heart in a negative way. It lets your muscles kind of go into atrophy where they're not working as hard you know, as they should be and, and they lose tone, they lose their strength because you're not working them, you're not exerting them, you're not exercising, you're not moving. Um, and I started to think about as he, as he was explaining this to me um, and my mind started to, to take a travel, take a trip back in time because that's where I was before I started working out, working on myself, before I you know, started my other business at the Max Challenge. Um, that was me. My job was a nine to five, all right? I would sit all day, all right? For lunch, there was a very beautiful, amazing Italian restaurant right down the street. I had a delicious Italian lunch every single day. It was delicious, okay, delicious. I would come home and between, between cooking, eating, cleaning dinner, all right, I just, I didn't have the motivation or drive to do anything. I was so tired. I was so tired because of all that sitting I did the, 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 you know, earlier that day. There was an indentation on the couch from, from my butt because that's where I would sit every day and I would just, just conk out while, while I was watching TV and that, that was my night and then it was rinse and repeat the next day. So the goal here and the, and the message behind all this is that being successful and challenging yourself and, and being the best version of yourself, it comes down to one word. And if you follow that one word and embody it even for just 20 minutes a day, literally I'm telling you, 20 minutes a day could change your life, 20 minutes. Moving, that's the word, that's it. That's the key is just moving. And, and whether you're following an exercise program or an exercise regimen, that's one side of it. Or whether you just get up every, every day, every afternoon, and you take a walk around your block, okay? You take a walk around your block. Or every time you're watching TV, because this can be done anywhere, anytime you see a commercial pop on, you do 10 push-ups or 10 crunches or lift your legs 10 times off the couch. Little things like that not only build healthy habits, but our goal now is to build a healthy lifestyle. And that's what these steps are taking. That's what these things are, are working towards building a healthy lifestyle for us, for our future. And so again, it's not, and it's not what you think. You know, normally you think of the grizzly bear wranglers and the alligator, you know, the alligator wranglers and the ice road truckers and the lobster fishing, but it's not that. It's the jobs that offer the least movement are the most dangerous. So keep that in mind. And if you're one of those people who has those type of nine to five jobs, just get out there and move. That's all you gotta do. Just get out there and move a little bit every day. Makes a whole lot of difference for yourself. Put in the time now, invest it now, right? Gift yourself that time now. Benefit yourself for all of your tomorrows because you got a lot of them coming, okay? I wanna say thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for always pushing yourselves. Remember, never settle for anything less than your best and always, always, always fight for the life that you deserve, all right? Thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, happy people. Every day.